What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 21-22 Elite Basketball just sold out. This is a six-box break. Pikachu is number four. All-card ship. On average, guys, you get two autographs, eight inches, eight parallels, and two base rookies per box. Look for an all-new design. Really, really nice stuff. Pen pals. Passing the torch duels. We haven't hit with any of those, but uh, hopefully we can soon. Um, this is the second half of the case. And uh, Jonathan Hollywood just sold it out. Took the Portland Trailblazers. Just gotta quickly actually print this out. So there you go. And then all the boxes that I wrote on do say four. Just to let you guys know it was coming from the same case as yesterday's. I root the first three boxes and then we'll go to the next three as like yesterday.
All right, guys, almost there. So I really did like, uh, I really did like the, uh, the cards yesterday from Celia. I think they're very sharp. I do love their like orange, those purples, the blues. You know, they kind of just remind me of a little bit of a PNG kind of deal. Off from Upper Deck, Metal Universe. And uh, you know, I do like that you have pen pals. You have a chance to get on card autographs as well. But like I said, I really do like those colors. The rookies have been harder to hit. There usually is only like one per box, maybe two. It's supposed to be two on average, but sometimes I feel like I only see like one, but they're pretty nice. I do like them a lot. And the inserts look pretty sharp. Good thing is all cards ship. These are great looking cards, little gloss feel. And right there, Avery Johnson to start us off. So there's one of the first autographs. Spurs, that is going to David. All in all though, I think this is a pretty good product for the price. There's a little die cut there, KD. So basically these are all base until you start getting like colors and stuff. Kuzma. And there's a rookie, Luca Garza. There's a little Damian Lillard, insert for the Blazers, last spot mojo. Curry, Spellbound. LeBron James, how about that? Orange. Like I said, it just gives me a lot of PMG feels. John Wall for the Houston Rockets. H Town, 49. Title Town, or Title Waves. Trey Murphy, Pen Pals, to 49. For the Pelicans. Minzo. There's a LeBron die cut. and Barnes. Kevin Durant. Dorian Vinny Smith. First box. Harold Miner. Kuzma. Richo Mashems. Another LeBron James. Hell yeah. I'm sure these color LeBron James are going to sell well. One of one, Donovan Mitchell. Wow. That was one of the last few teams taken, and the one of ones look beautiful. 
Kind of like a little Nebula feel, right? Nebula, but like still a PMG. Wow, that looks sweet. And Alan Murdoch actually took these teams right before, uh, right before John. They got the Lost Ball Mojo. That looks great. Wow, I gotta take a photo of that. Spider. And Trey Murphy yearbook, 10 of 10. Nice one there for the Pelicans. Luka Doncic. You got Dayron Sharp. Kemba Walker. Redemption. Austin Rivers is 75. Thomas Bryant. And DeAndre Hunter. Russell Westbrook. And Charles Bassey. And rookie here, uh, Jason Preston. James Wiseman. Tatum. LeBron. And John Sally. Detroit Business. All right, but look at that redemption right now. All right, good luck. Elite signatures purple. Card number two. Wow, Anthony Davis. I have no idea what purple's out of, maybe 49. But card number two, Anthony Davis. 
That should be Lakers. I'll double check it again. I, I don't I don't want to say he's not in both because, you know, sometimes LeBron's in both uniforms or three different teams. But if that is Lakers, uh, that is uh, Bryant. Card number two, yes, Los Angeles Lakers. And let me just double check. It looks like he's everything Lakers here. Just want to make sure. Yeah, everything is Lakers. So anything Anthony Davis. Also, sorry, I didn't check to see what this could have been out of. Card number two, purple would be out of 25. So out of 99 is the base, red's out of 49, blue's out of 35, purple would be out of 25. How is Jason? Jason is doing well, Rex. Alright, that was the first, first three boxes. First box. Nice four left and tops jumbo. That's great. Yeah, if it uh if that were to sell out, we can place it after Elite. Just remember guys, um it is um it is those are longer breaks, so we just gotta remember uh that uh you know it's gonna take up some time to do these breaks so just remember you know we want to sell out as many breaks as possible and especially some of those breaks have been sitting there for a little bit like i would love to do that high end mixer right um uh 23 there uh what else so yeah the baseball soccer but i definitely would like to do flaws in the high end mixer that's for sure Do you know if there was any recent change in Jasper's case based payments? It's now calculating taxes. Uh, no, not that I know of, Book. The only time we'd ever charge taxes is if you were in California. Um, but, uh, if you are, uh, depending on your state, maybe there was a new rule. Maybe now people are starting to pay tax depending on the state that you're in online. I have no idea. You can send a support email. That's the case book, but I don't, I wasn't aware of us changing anything. Usually the only time that you have to pay tax for something is when you're in the same state as us. So if you're in California, you're going to definitely pay taxes. But, uh, 
just maybe send a support message. Maybe you can get back to you maybe later today, tomorrow on that question. But I, I have no idea, man. I don't think I, I don't think so. But unless there's a new policy or a new change in, in online payments from certain states. Okay, well, yeah, maybe I just get a person over there. I mean, I think it's almost the same thing, right? At least you get a whole box instead. But yeah, if it doesn't charge over there, then it's a little weird. I have no clue, man. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it is charging for tax, but I have no clue, man. Maybe maybe there's a new thing. Maybe it's a new thing. I don't know. I'll, I'll text Nick about that, too. I haven't heard back from him from the Elite, at least not that I know of. That's, that's a little weird. Yeah, you know what? It might be a glitch book, because I'm looking at the most recent orders, and none of these guys have paid tax at all. Actually... So you know what? It could just be it could just be a glitch. Cause none of these guys have paid tax at all. And the only one that had to pay tax was Jonathan Hollywood, because he's actually in California. So I'm looking at the most recent orders and it looks like none of these guys that are out of California have had to pay taxes. The only one that's been has been uh Jonathan because he's here in California and especially Los Angeles so yeah maybe try what Rex says maybe that maybe maybe it is a glitch so I wasn't aware of anything yeah maybe that's true if that that, that could be a glitch If it ever did, I'm pretty sure, as long as it wasn't like a new policy change, you can always request maybe that to be refunded, I guess, but yeah, maybe try that out with Rex, Rex said. Yeah, so you know what? It could just be a random glitch. Yeah, it's a little weird that it would do that. So yeah, for anybody else uh, that stopped... Uh, Potentially getting a spot with us because of tax that could be a glitch on the website Maybe we can contact Shopify to kind of make sure that doesn't happen, but yeah, thanks to Rex I, I had no clue that that even happened Yeah, probably. It probably assumes that you're in the in California, but once you finally put in all your information right before checkout, it probably deletes it. That, that could be it too. But I know regardless though, right? I think eBay, I think you always get charged any tax, right? Wherever you're at in the country, no matter what.
All right, good luck, guys. Ooh, Kevin Durant. How about that? It's funny, several days ago I ordered pizza online. They had a BOGO half off. I ordered two pizzas. And the app removed the main price pizza and marked it down the second. So I got two pizzas for seven. Yeah. It's true. Whoa, Shea Gilders Alexander for my thunder. Very nice. 10 out of 10 gold. 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 Rookie, Corey Kesper, to 210. Bull, bull. Greg Brown the third. Pen pals to 149. Very nice, guys. Like I said, those breaks are all time consuming, so just remember that, you know, if you're trying to get other breaks done, try to sell out those breaks that don't take too long. So now we're going to run out of time quicker than, uh, than we want. Andrew Wiggins to 49 for the Warriors. I don't know if we'll have more jumbo after that, but at least that one today. And it looks like I might be sold out now. Or close to it. I think it's done too, actually. Yeah. Cameron Thomas. Jerry West. Very nice boxes here with autographs. Lakers. Having a great break. Band of Bio to Kevin Durant to 99. And we got Jared Butler to 999. Kyle Kuzma, Joel Embiid. And Desmond Mason. And 
Daniel Gafford to 21. It's green. All right, last box, guys. Good luck. This has been a pretty good half case, though. Joakim Noah. Luca Garza. Hey, what's up, Juan? Come on, stop, man. Lulu. Nice base to throw in there. Kawhi Leonard, red. And we got Isaiah Livers. Rookie yearbooks. Trudy Cooper. Harrison Barnes. Trey Young. Trey Young again. Bradley Beal. Anthony Edwards. And just base, base, base. All about that base. About that base. Alrighty, guys, and there you go. That was the break. Um, pretty solid stuff. Got some good veteran colors, including that shade of 10. And then we also got the 1-of-1 one one Donovan Mitchell, which is a beautiful-looking card. Some LeBrons here. Greg Brown autograph, Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis purple to 25, John Sally, Harold Miner, uh, Trey Murphy. Uh, we got a Avery, Bra uh, Avery Johnson, sorry. Trey Murphy again. The logo, Jerry West, Joakim Noah, and Isaiah Livers. So there you go, guys. That was break number four. Coming up next is break number six, jazbeescasebreaks.com.